gonna teach you how to recreate this popular TikTok effect. Welcome to Quality Wednesday, a segment where I teach you how to improve the quality of your content in three minutes or less. Because let's be honest, you have the attention span of a golden retriever. Yes. As you guys just saw, I'm not gonna be teaching you guys how to dance. You're welcome. But I will teach you guys how to do that popular effect called motion tracking that you have in After Effect. That's right guys, we're gonna switch it up today. Instead of Premiere Pro, we're gonna switch to After Effect. But this effect can be recreated in Premiere Pro, but it's less effective. So I'm gonna teach you guys a popular effect where your head remains the focal point of any tracking that occurs while editing. So this effect is prominent in a lot of different TikTok videos right now. But unfortunately, the most effective way to teach you guys how to do it is gonna be on After Effect. It can be recreated on Premiere Pro, but it's just not as effective. If you guys are interested in that, of course, drop a comment down below and let me know and I'll make a separate video for that. If not, I want you guys to hit the subscribe button, turn your post notifications on down below, and like this video. And of course, guys, if you like it, at the end of the video, make sure to show some support. So without further ado, let's just hop into After Effect and let's see how this is done. All right, so the first thing we're gonna wanna do is import whatever video it is that we're trying to edit directly into After Effect. Um, as you can see here, I would recommend whatever video it is that you're shooting for this effect is that you stay as far away from the camera as you possibly can, just because you're gonna have to scale it eventually and you're gonna want the room to do that without cropping yourself from it. So first thing we wanna do is we wanna go to Window, we wanna find the Tracker. So after we found the Tracker, we wanna go to Stabilize Motion. This is what's gonna give us our effect. So right, right now you guys can see a little box that's over here, that's gonna be the little Tracker that we're gonna need for this effect. So we're gonna go to the point where we are in this video, we wanna start. So I slide in, I just don't want it to be too complicated, so I'm gonna have the track start as soon as I get in. So I'm gonna go, the first thing I wanna do is I wanna take this box and I wanna move it directly onto my face because that's what I want to be tracking. Some advice for this effect is that the smaller the box that you make, the shorter it is to process. So I would recommend keeping it small. I like to have my eye as a focal point just because it's wide enough for me to focus onto it. And I'll just make it a little bit wider just to help me out. So the next thing I want to do is I want to press play. So it's going to analyze each, it's going to automatically analyze each step by step, but the thing is I need to keep track of it because some parts will, I guess the, uh, the tracker will stray away and it'll do my job just to move it right back. So we're just going to quickly start analyzing. So we're here. Okay, we're good. We don't have a lot of issues here as you can tell. The tracking is good right there. Cool. So, boom, that right there is a problem. So I'm gonna go back to the frame there and then I'm just going to manually move it and correct it. So here, so at my next frame, so I'm gonna go right here and it'll take me frame to frame so I see I'm starting to drop. So what I'm gonna wanna do is just move it back and then we're gonna continue. We're gonna move it back. Let's me. There we go. Boom. Move it back. So we're gonna keep doing this effect. I'm not gonna make this perfect just because again, three minutes or less. But let's keep going as much as we can to get to the point. So gonna go. Boom. There we go. So there you go. I think the tracker is slowly starting to catch back up with myself. I could have it go up a little bit here. So let's do that. So right there, I lost it there. So let's just quickly bring it back to there. So on and so forth. Honestly, as long as it stays around the proximity of your face, you should be good in terms of the tracker. Again, I just put it there just as a focal point just for my face, but it'll still track the whole face. So we're gonna go through, it's not gonna be perfect from here, but you guys get the idea. So we're gonna go through that and then that should help. So the next thing we're gonna wanna do after we've done that, we're comfortable with that, is we wanna press apply just to apply the effect. So after we do that, like I said before, it's going to, it's going to um, take some time based on whatever size the boxes are. Um, so this is gonna appear, it's just, do you wanna apply dimension for X and Y? You're gonna press okay, and then you're gonna let it do its work. So it'll take some time and it should get the work done. So there we go. As you can see right here, it's automatically tracked on what's, what's occurring. So now we can go back 
And let's try this. So, there we go. So we see the effect. Now the only thing with the effect is that we want it to be closer. So we want to scale it directly in. So we're going to press S on our keyboards and then we're going to scale it in enough for here. So then we're just going to play it again. And then, well, for the, um, based on the black bars, you're just going to have to, of course, track motion. Uh, most of you guys already know how that's done. Um, again, after that, you can either choose to scale in some more or you can track the motion as well. But after that, you guys should be good. And again, it's as simple as that. Nice and simple way to show this. There's also another way to do it on Premiere Pro, but after this, we can export it. And luckily enough, you can actually export it and then track motion directly on Premiere Pro, which I have shown, or correction, which I have not shown, but I can show that in, a, in another separate video. Again, comment down below if you guys want to see that. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and I hope to catch you guys in my next video. Peace out.